Squad. Yeah. Now we just have to wait for people to actually show up. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> they can't Come join the live. Come on. Uh -oh. oh, there we There's go. Uh -oh. We got people joining. There's one. There's two. All right. Yeah. We're just going to wait for you guys to come on. There we go. People joining in. Welcome. What's up, everybody? Fusion is happening on the internet. Best hey. place to be on a Tuesday. It's still the best place to be hey, on a Tuesday. Let us know if you can hear us. Go ahead and comment right now so I can check that to make sure the sound is crystal clear. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. You checking you in. You know what I'm saying? Check in. Check in. All right. Let me look at them. Oh, look at the hearts are going. Hey, oh, can you hit them up? Hit them up. Hit them up. Hit them up. Subscribe. <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Yes. Fusion ATL. We Straight need up. subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> we need 200 so we can go live. Yeah, which is true. We actually do have a YouTube channel. We just started it up. Um, Hearts are going on that one. Yeah, Let's man. Go. Fusion ATL. <laughs> you know, we'll probably be going live on there. Okay. Yeah, moving hear forward as well. Okay, you guys can Crystal hear us. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, you guys Tyra. might have to turn your phones because we're horizontal because it's a lot of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So turn, turn them, turn them up, turn them up, turn them up. Which we had some music. Right? Yeah, it's the worst smooth. Yeah, dun, 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 man. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Somebody play a bumper. Man, so yeah. all right. While people are logging on, I want us to just start with something. Erskine, where are you from? I am from. How, how you want me to do this? Hey, man. It can be a lot of different places, and we it's break it down. Question. No, not for me. It's a simple question. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> Where were you? I born? say Buck Town. Okay. You got Buck Sport. Okay. You got Conway. Okay. The Myrtle Beach. Okay. I see a lot of people don't places. know. Yeah, yeah. So I got the hood. You got the country. You got the city. Okay. Are you from yeah. all those at the same time? At the same time. Wow. At the same time. So if you do not know Buck Sport, South Carolina, that is the country hood. <laughs> Country hood, the country hood, but it's located near Conway, South Carolina. Okay, but it's also located near Myrtle Beach. Well, okay. most of you know Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Okay, that's where I'm from. There we go, James. What about you? Where are you from? Peoria, Illinois, the Midwest, there the great go. Midwest. Midwest. Oh, we got <laughs> corn <laughs> and we got beans. That's about corn all and we got. Beans. Corn and beans and the bears. No. The what? No. Da Bears! Oh! Bears. He's talking about the uh, the Chicago Bears. <laughs> you guys have never <laughs> seen that? Come on! That's what he's referring to, I believe. Wow, nah. it's exactly what I was saying. Oh, man. Hey, I respect it. Nah. Am I that old? Nah, man. No, no, no. It's just we just. Reference. Yeah, man, because most, most people don't know a whole lot about the Bears. <laughs> so, no, they're actually good this past year. We made it to the Super Bowl in 06, y'all. Let's go. Man, shut up. <laughs> Walter Payton? Some of our people weren't even alive then. <laughs> nah. They don't even know who Walter Payton is. They don't, bro. They don't. Okay. Walter well, Payton. Yeah. We're just waiting for everybody to log on. Yeah. We're giving everybody a chance. This is not the message. Uh, this is not what we're talking about. But we're just introducing ourselves okay. a little bit. Okay. We got I'm, 103. We got okay. 103. 103. Okay. Okay. So I'm from uh, a city called Bayshore. It's in Long Island, New York. That's where I grew up. I moved down here to Atlanta in high school. And yeah, that's where I'm from. What about you, Tay? I am, hello everybody, my name is Tay. <laughs> I am from uh, White Plains, New York. It's in upstate. Um, then I moved to Wilmington, North Carolina when I was 10 years old, where it's nice and warm. Mm. And there's lots of beaches and mm. sand mm. and beautiful things. Mm. So wow. it's the best. It's awesome. Wilmington. Just come visit. Yeah, you're right. Not my house. No, no. Sure? There are a lot of hotels and you know all that stuff. I will show you around. <laughs> so mom not gonna invite us? Um, mm. She'll cook. You know how she she'll cook. cook. <laughs> she'll cook. Invite us all. She'll cook. She does coupons, so you need some. Never mind. We can get that joke later. <laughs> oh man. She well, ready? If you got your phone on, you could kind of monitor, monitor what people are saying because I want to ask them some questions too. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys feeling right now? Just throw that in the throw that in right the comments. Right now they're saying, let's see what they say. How are you guys feeling? They're saying we're glowing. Glowing. Okay. We can hear you. Okay. Oh, we're glowing. Yeah. Okay. We're glowing. Okay. We're glowing. Okay. Got that God filter on. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know. Let me do it. Uh, <laughs> and got beat by the Colts. Ooh. Oh. Hey, okay. you don't need to bring that up. <laughs> they made it. They made it, okay? Come on. 1985 Bears, one of the best defenses ever. That's okay. right. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, Jelani, bees up. I see you, brother. Okay. Stay away, Rona free. Okay. Rona, get the stay away, Rona free. Of course. Squad. Okay, got some of the coaches in here, the leaders. Okay. We have anybody answering how? Okay, got it, got it. A little sad, but okay overall. Okay, okay, I feel that. All right, we got. You got your wife here. Hungry. Okay. Ew. Okay. She's hungry. What's up, baby? Oh, yeah, she's hungry. Oh. <laughs> Bring food up. Eat her getting dinner. Uh, uh, real weird. Real, real weird. weird. Yeah. It's a little Thumbs weird. Thumbs up. Right uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I feel that. IDK. Mm. Annoyed. 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 Bored. Bored. Yeah. Uh, Marky Joe. Hungry. Yeah. Ate all my snacks for the month. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Sorry, brother. Ooh. Don't come for to the, the house month. for the month. For the month. Yeah. 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 Snacking hard. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. great yeah. planning. Yeah. Yeah. You need some real food. Yeah, some real food. Yeah, you hard. gotta project a little better. Let's see. Bored, super busy. Okay. Super busy? Okay. What y'all got? Kim? What, what you, you got going on? Kim out here leading. She's without leaders. Okay. She out here leading. All right, Kim, keep it going, huh? Uh, so, uh, the Zoom calls? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Weird some days, better other days. Okay. A little concerned, but God got us. Okay, okay. Ish, we got yeah. you, brother. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Ariel got yeah, married yeah, yeah. Saturday. Okay. Oh, hey. Amazing. I know you amazing. I got a husband now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. Sad. Got a husband now. Sad because there's no fusion today. We are having fusion. We're just connecting in a different way. Come on now. Come on. It's still the best place. Still the best place. Locked in. Okay. We love a good word. Okay, we're gonna give you a little something. Okay, you know I got the Bible on me. Love okay, you know, got the Jesus it. Bible. Come on, come on. Good. For, oh, we got somebody. First Fusion Service. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah. You here, VIP? Immediately follow you here. This video, we have a yeah. VIP section for you that we would love. Oh, wait. No, uh, we don't oh, got it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Our best virtual place to be on a Tuesday night. Squad. Okay. Allergies acting up. Okay. okay. Allergies. Be healed. Okay. In Jesus' name. Gotcha. We gotcha. Bless. Okay. okay. Little bro said bless. Okay. Okay. Shout out. Pursuit. Small okay. group. Okay. All right. So all right, I think we, we got some people over here. Y'all yeah. feeling all right? There's a little some mixed feelings. I feel that. Uh, how are you guys feeling, man? Who wants to start on that? How are you guys feeling? <laughs> 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 um. I'll, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I think for us, I don't want to go too deep, too quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got some situations I'm dealing with with my body, uh, not Corona. Got an injured knee right now. Um, and so just believing, uh, having faith that I'll be healed in that. Got some, some bad news with that, but we know the cross has the final word. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just really, you know, in a place to, we're feeling the pressure even though we're you know, ministering in this moment, in this way, to be virtual, um, to, to lead you guys into all that we're doing today. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good about that. Okay. Definitely. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Appreciate you sharing that, being transparent. Bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. How about you, man? It's processing, man. There's yeah. a lot to process. There's yeah. a lot of voices. There's a lot of news. There's a lot of things to read. There's a lot of friends sending texts saying, hey, I got a friend in the Army or in the government or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, Processing every couple hours, it feels like stuff shifts. Yeah. So as someone who has a fam, who has kids, it's like trying to explain everything is it's a lot. Yeah. So you know, a little little tired. My brain hurts a little bit right now. Yeah, man. So, That's real. So are your kids asking questions about it? Asking questions yeah. like, what is this? You know, that kind of thing. But yeah. it's like, you know, I they're in a they're in a really cool season right now because normally if I say it, it's okay, they just go cool. All right. Yeah. Good. And like, that's, you know, the trust of a kid for his father. And so that's been reminding me, like, <coughs> God, if you got it. That's a word. I'm good. I'm good. That's I don't need word. to worry about that's it. Because you know? yeah. a lot of times we're like, hey, do we need it? No, nope. you guys are good. Yeah. If I got something to tell you, I'll tell you. If I want you to do something, I'll tell you to do it. Yeah. And if I don't, you're straight. That's good. You know? Come on. Yeah, that's a whole word. Yeah. All right. Man, amen. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Altar. 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 The altar. Oh, man. We don't got one. How are you feeling, oh, man? Place an altar. Right? Um, a lot like James, really, really processing. Um, I, I guess I didn't really understand the 
the severity of everything until today, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Like, just hearing different things and, you know, just being aware of different things, it was like, man, this is a real thing. Yeah. Um, these are things that people are dealing with. And even, you know, dealing with some family who may be, you know, scared or how, yeah. how am I um, being able to minister to them or, you know, share with them. Um, so, so yeah, just been processing and, and figuring it out. I'm excited to be able to be a part of, of a church that is going to help yeah. and, and, you know, be the hands and feet, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and always, like, I'm processing, but I'm, I'm excited to, to give back and to right. help and do. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's good. Um, I would say I'm, I have a lot of mixed feelings right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm processing as well. I'm processing from a couple different places, you know. Um, I'll say I'll start with one of the things that's been hitting me a lot is, as I shared with you guys before, you know, just last week we were talking about work and uh, I had no idea that a week later uh, so many people would be talking about work and how they're being affected, how businesses are being affected, jobs are being affected, yeah. uh, people's livelihoods and sources of in income are being affected. And so um, I feel really, I think, like sober and, and humbled in that I felt super led to speak on that. I, I shared it in the message saying like, as I was studying for this, I was asking God like, what does this have to do with our series though? Like we're kind of talking about tensions and relationships, yeah. but man, as I was praying about what to talk about last Tuesday, I just kept hearing business, 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 to the point that it was kind of frustrating because I'm like, well, not all of our people are entrepreneurs. Or, you know, am I supposed to be talking about business? And then it kind of clarified that um, that we'd be talking about work as a whole. Um, and so I feel like I feel secure in knowing that, and and really honored, and but very like humble mm -hmm. at the fact that God Himself was speaking that way before we could ever know what was about to hit a message for his people in about this particular subject because now the entire world is kind of being shaken in this area and at least asking the question what's going to happen if not to me what's going to happen to my friends or my family or you know we all know people who have who have been affected. So many people in fusion work in the service industry, yeah. restaurants, malls, you yeah. know, all these things. And so I'm also I'm also feeling the weight of that of leading, you know, a group of people who are being affected by this. Um, but also I'm feeling comforted knowing that, man, God has spoken uh, a message that I can lean on for myself and rely on for myself, knowing, I mean, point number one. It, last week was God is our provider like yeah. that's his job and that was I mean it's crazy you know we met for service last week and now I mean there's there's news going out everywhere that you know suggesting no gatherings all that stuff man things have changed so quickly in a week yeah. Yeah. Um, and but yeah I'm, I'm humbled uh, but, and, but comforted by that knowing that God would be so good yeah. uh, showing his intentionality saying hey you don't see this coming, but I see this coming. Even if this doesn't make so much sense to you, um, or even to the people hearing it at the moment, uh, this is what I'm saying, and it speaks to me about the power of prophecy. Because, uh, you know, we hear about the prophetic a lot as like, you know, in terms of just over-spiritualizing things. And whether somebody has a gift of, of, of prophecy, uh, some of us shy away from it because we've gotten false prophecies and some of us have some, you know, heard about that, all those things. But man, the prophetic is something that God has been using from the beginning, like from the earth, from Genesis, yeah. early in Genesis, as soon as the fall happens, God prophesies what's going to happen. And that's one of his calling cards to show that he's real yeah. and alive. Like we have a God who sees in advance will speak to things in advance to show that he's alive and involved uh, and I think that this is an opportunity for the light to shine and so I feel a lot of different ways uh, sometimes I feel like man you know I'm, I'm also naturally optimistic and so I'm also trying to be like all right I, feel, I know everything is gonna be fine I know that we're gonna be taken care of what do I need to think of you know in just like we hear um, you know, uh, expect the best, but plan for the worst. Yeah. And so, man, it's not even necessarily that things are gonna get bad, 
But if things go differently than expected, yep. you know, how do I prepare myself sure, sure. Uh, and steward properly as God would have us do? Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, man, I, I feel a lot of different ways, but ultimately I feel comforted. And I'll say that's really even what the heart of tonight is about. I just wanted to talk to you guys and we all wanted to get together and talk to you guys about, man, what do we as the church have to say um, what do we as the church need to be focusing on? What do we as the church do in a time like this? Uh, because we're, we're called to be set apart. And I'm not trying to get on here and, you know, act like the person who has all the answers, you know, or, or tell you, you know, oh, just everything's going to be fine and you shouldn't feel any worries or concerns. It's more so, man, we all have things creep up. We all have concerns creep up. We all have, you know, worries creep up. Man, what do we do with those things? Um, how do we create a space, you know, in our own environment that we can discuss those things and come together during those times so that truth wins? It's not that we can't experience, you know, things, but man, how does, how does truth win in our lives and we be who God is calling us to be in these times? And so uh, I want us to have a discussion tonight. I wanted to start off by reading from Psalm 91. And if you are, you know, listening in, I just encourage you guys, you know, if you've been listening to, to victories, uh, messages, uh, especially from the past weekend or lead well, you know, it's been mentioned a few times. Psalm 91 is something that we can really lean on in this time. The word of God, I mean, spoken a long time ago and always relevant. And so I want to look at verse one and two, where he says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And the, the first thing that stuck out to me was it was saying whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High. So what we're seeing there is God provides shelter for us. He's the Most High. He's above everything and He provides a shelter for His people. but. The scripture says whoever dwells in that shelter will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And so where we choose to dwell is going to affect how we're able to rest and whether we're able to rest or not. And so, man, you know, when you guys hear that, you know, that it's a that's a choice because we can leave a place. We can stay in a place. We can rest in a place. And a lot of that has to do with our choices. And so this is saying, man, whoever dwells, whoever chooses to dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow. So, man, what thoughts come to you guys' mind, you know, when you hear that? And so I think specifically about, um, I kind of, I like to tackle the things that stand in our way of doing these things, because I think that we can hear something like that and be like, okay, yeah, I'm called to dwell. But then tomorrow, the challenges that we face are what stands in our way. <laughs> of dwelling and so man if you guys you know could could speak on that um any of you just any thoughts that might come to mind when you hear that just from your own lives i think a lot of people like we get it twisted like god only dwells like in a sanctuary or mm. in a building mm. or god is with me when the worship music's on mm. and the bible's open so, and the coffee cup is on in the morning but like if you have Jesus in your heart, if you have the Holy Spirit, if you've given your life and you, you feel and you know that you're a part of the kingdom, like when you're in your car, yeah, you have the opportunity Man. to dwell with God. So real. Yeah. Like this morning, I was on my way in and I had a podcast playing and it was just like noise. And I just was like, you know what? Pause. And and just like E is sitting next to me, like I, I looked over at the driver's seat and I just said, What do you want to talk about, Jesus? Mm. Like, what do we need to talk about? Man. And I think a lot of people just, they just think, okay, yep, God exists and, and dwells in the church or he dwells in, in the, the isolation of my bedroom. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of it is, it stops us because we just don't think that he goes with us. Man, mm -hmm. that's good. But if you realize like wherever you go, he's with you. Wherever yeah. you go, no matter what's going on around you, yeah. the peace is there. Yeah. You just gotta dwell within that. And you yeah. gotta make sure that your emotions don't drift. You gotta yeah. make sure that your mind doesn't drift. Yeah. It's like, God, you're here. Yeah. I don't have every answer, but you're here. Yeah. Man, that's good. That's really, really good. Man, anybody else wanna weigh in on that? 
Yeah, I think um, kind of piggybacking. I know we don't like that word. <laughs> piggybacking off of James. I think. That's what I'm saying. I don't get piggybacks, man. It just means you're in unison. So we don't have to piggyback, but you're in agreement. We're of one mind. Just to be in agreement with James. <laughs> um, man, I think we can sometimes get used to God speaking to us in one way. Um, and so when I think of just all of this, I think of almost like being in a championship game mm -hmm. or like on a football field and everybody's screaming at you loud is going on but you know you have to hear that 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 one person whether it's the captain or the point guard um, and and sometimes the the captain they give like signals because mm -hmm. nobody can hear them yeah. you know and so I feel like sometimes you know when things are going crazy people are yelling all these things are happening around us God may not specifically speak to you I don't know maybe audibly but mm -hmm. maybe he's like like, hey, I need you to read my word because mm. this is a different way that I want to speak, mm. you know. Um, so I, I don't know. I think just kind of going off of that, like, you know, he doesn't only dwell in the church, but he also doesn't speak to you in one way, yep. you know. So just to be open and mindful um, that as you are dwelling with him to maybe, I mean, it may even be through nature, you know, through like walk, they, taking a walk down the trail and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. looking at some trees and stuff. Yeah, like, it, it, it's just... He created it. Yeah, hey, you know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's that's just my, yeah. my two cents. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I mean, for me, when I hear uh, dwelling again, it's making the choice, yeah. um, choosing to do that. But I think even a step further is even preparing the mm -hmm. space that we're in, mm -hmm. um, whether that's your bedroom, whether that's your living room, mm -hmm. your your closet, whatever the case is. Because I think when we choose, we prepare. Yeah. And so, like, even mm -hmm. for James, was saying like. You choose to turn it off, mm. and you also prepared a mm. place mm. for him to mm. to be in that space, yeah. right? And so for me, it's really just setting setting that tone because I think a lot of times we we don't try to make that choice mm. until like whatever's going on is in our face. Yeah. So let's let's take this situation with Corona, uh, all the different things that's going on. Yesterday was totally different. Mm, yeah. uh, yesterday we were not having a conversation like this. Yeah. Uh, yesterday um, I was in a, for me personally, I was in a better place of peace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. when it's in your surroundings, mm -hmm. then it's in down your street. Mm -hmm. There's another place that you have to go with that. Now it's in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Now it's at our front step. Mm -hmm. And so you even you even have to choose every time it the proximity changes yeah you know what i'm saying wherever it's at and so whenever things get closer um you have to choose again yeah. and i think even for me it's uh it's whatever we dwell in that we have to continue to choose um every day yeah not just off of the choice i made yesterday or the choice i made in 2015 mm -hmm. yeah. when i gave my life to christ <laughs> yeah. i have to yeah, choose for daily real. Yeah. For real. and i think even for me now i'm, I'm preaching to myself because yeah. it's like i have to choose joy now yeah, yeah. like in this moment after the news yeah. after That's whatever good. report we got whatever we you know what i'm saying kind yeah. of receive from all of these different things and i think it's us choosing to do that but also preparing the space when we make that choice mm. That's real good. That's real good. After that, it says, man, whoever chooses to dwell, right? You know, all the things that you guys are talking about, preparing a space um, and, and making an effort to engage with God, right? Uh, saying that when we choose to dwell in that shelter, that person, will, whoever chooses, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Man, what does resting look like? in a time of busyness and, and chaos and craziness, what do you guys feel like resting looks like? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that helps me is just resting my mind, resting my thoughts. And normally that, st that, that starts with me stopping my thoughts and going, God, what are your thoughts about me? Mm. What are your thoughts about the world? Mm. Like, are you worried about this? Mm. <laughs> you know, like I, I might be worried about this, but are you worried about this? Mm. Uh, a lot of times it's, Am I am I good enough to handle this, mm. or or do I have the tools enough? Like, am I good enough, or you know, what am I gonna do when this happens? Mm. It's like, okay, I can rest in you. You got it. Much like what I said about my kids. It's yeah. like If my dad is saying you don't have to worry about it, mm. okay, dad said he's got it, mm. so I'm good. Mm. You know, so like, I'm good. straight chilling. 
That's good. But but as Guy said, that's a choice. Yeah. That is a choice, and it, it you know like you said, the next day it's a choice. The next minute, yeah, it's yep. still a choice, exactly. especially exactly. for me. Yeah, 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 especially for me. Yeah. So that's the that's probably the first place I start is just try to rest my mind, slow yeah. it down, and just go, God, what are you saying? What are your thoughts? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, anybody else have anything to say on the the resting piece? I mean, I'm gonna just speak for myself, but I'm gonna say this because uh, I think a lot of people will um, kind of agree. It's not easy. Yeah. Let me just say that it's not easy, and even, regardless if we preach on platforms and all those different things, man, I'll say for me, uh, it's difficult. It's very difficult. It takes a long time for me to really get into a space to like really digress of a way of like, okay, I'm resting. Like I finally, like even I'm gonna be honest, for me in a work week, mm -hmm. it never stops. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a five o'clock, mm -hmm. I'm out the door, it's, you know, I'm still working here yeah. when I'm home. Yeah. And so sometimes it really doesn't click mm -hmm. until I'm in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm yeah. about to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, I basically force myself to. Yeah. Um, but it's different things where uh, muting everything around me. Mm -hmm. um, it may be unpacking a situation or my day with someone mm -hmm. uh, to that point to, to really be clear in yeah. my mind. That's good. Um, but really, you know, just it, it's something that I'm still working on yeah. uh, when it comes down to that because I, I know that I'm going to have to turn it right back on the next day. Mm -hmm. So, like, my Thursdays are like, I probably don't finish like being clear here until like 1 o'clock, mm -hmm. 1, 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I'm happy. <laughs> and then I'm resting until like four, man. and then I'm off on Friday. <laughs> so then I really start my Sabbath yeah. in that way. But man, I just want to say, it's difficult. Yeah, It really is. So it's an ongoing thing that I'm even trying to figure out. That's good, man. Yeah. Um, did you have anything you wanted to add to it? Uh, I mean, nah, they did pretty much. Uh, cool. I mean. <laughs> 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 anything else you want to add? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, well, okay, for me, uh, if you don't, you know this if you know me but I'm a very extroverted person I um, like to process <laughs> I, I process with people and I'm also very easily distracted and so um, kind of like what he said when it comes to having just a moment or just being just whatever this is means <laughs> um, it's, it's difficult uh, just because I'm so used to going or doing or being um, and a lot of times when the Lord is like, yo, I need you to stop, and I can, I can almost feel that because like, I feel him you know, starting to pull things away, you know, or sometimes I feel like I'm in a room and there's nobody there. And I know it's like, okay, the Lord's like, I need you to, to come down here, you know, here I am trying to speak to you, but you have all these distractions going on. So I think for me, rest looks like literally I need to be by myself and I need to focus and concentrate on him with no distractions, no phone, no Instagram, none, none of that because I'm so easily distracted. Um, so, so yeah. That's good. I think that was a great, a great point in terms of distractions, hearing different messages, hearing different things. Uh, I think a lot of times that's what makes it hard to rest. You know, and that just brought me back to where it says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High. But if you're dwelling in CNN, if you're dwelling in Fox News, yep. if you're dwelling in Instagram, if you're dwelling in your Facebook feed, you can't rest in the shelter of God. You can't rest in his shadow. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to trust when you're constantly hearing messages of worry. So I don't think that it's, I'm not saying to not be aware of what's going on. I'm not saying to not watch the news. I'm saying be careful where you dwell. Yeah, I don't dwell in the news. I don't dwell in my Instagram feed. I don't dwell in Facebook because if I do, I won't be able to rest. Yeah. I'm going to react. Yeah. And so even like a few weeks ago, we talked about respond, responding versus reacting. Yeah. And I think, man, this is a perfect opportunity to exercise that. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I mean, it's there's so many different kind of things that I have my hands in. The opportunities for worry come up all the time you know even even a night like this you know feeling like all right man i am leading a group of young adults um, who man they have real stuff going on they have real situations going on 
I want them to know that I love them. I want them to know that I have you know, compassion for them, that I care about them. Uh, at the same time, I also want to be able to you know, bring some type of comfort. And then sometimes I feel like, I don't feel like saying anything at all. I just wanna watch somebody else give direction just like you guys. Yeah. You know, legit, it's like, man, somebody tell us what to do, you know? <laughs> and so Sit in back. those times, I have to go to God and say, all right, Lord, you've placed me in this position. Uh, and to not be worried, to not be anxious, to not feel like I have to have all the answers and feel like I have it all figured out, but you are my shepherd, you are my father, you are aware of what's going on and nothing has caught you off guard. Mm -hmm. And when I say, you know, I'm going to dwell in that shelter, that helps me to rest. So then I'm not worried about what I'm gonna say when I come on here. I'm not worried about what I'm gonna go and speak on a platform or preach because I'm trusting in him. I know that his word is powerful enough for me and for everybody else. And so I'd say, man, I think those, those choices to stay connected to God and not to dwell in our circumstances, because circumstances can be all around you and it's not where you're dwelling. I think it was a great point that you said, resting your mind. It's where are you mentally? Yeah. You know, if you have situations and circumstances going on, are you dwelling in those circumstances or are you dwelling in the presence of God and that doesn't mean you disconnect from the circumstances, but where are you dwelling? I would say that I'm most at peace and most comforted when I'm dwelling in the, the awareness that God loves me, adults, um, who, man, they have real stuff going on, they have real situations going on. I want them to know that I love them. I want them to know that I have you know, compassion for them, that I care about them. Uh, at the same time, I also want to be able to you know, bring some type of comfort. And then sometimes I feel like, I don't feel like saying anything at all. I just wanna watch somebody else give direction just like you guys. Yeah. You know, legit, it's like, man, somebody tell us what to do, you know? <laughs> and so Sit in back. those times, I have to go to God and say, all right, Lord, you've placed me in this position. Uh, and to not be worried, to not be anxious, to not feel like I have to have all the answers and feel like I have it all figured out, but you are my shepherd, you are my father, you are aware of what's going on and nothing has caught you off guard. Mm -hmm. And when I say, you know, I'm going to dwell in that shelter, that helps me to rest. So then I'm not worried about what I'm gonna say when I come on here. I'm not worried about what I'm gonna go and speak on a platform or preach because I'm trusting in him. I know that his word is powerful enough for me and for everybody else. And so I'd say, man, I think those, those choices to stay connected to God and not to dwell in our circumstances, because circumstances can be all around you and it's not where you're dwelling. I think it was a great point that you said, resting your mind. It's where are you mentally? Yeah. You know, if you have situations and circumstances going on, are you dwelling in those circumstances or are you dwelling in the presence of God and that doesn't mean you disconnect from the circumstances, but where are you dwelling? I would say that I'm most at peace and most comforted when I'm dwelling in the, the awareness that God loves me and God is taking care of me. And so that doesn't mean I disconnect from any situations. That doesn't mean I don't go to work. That doesn't mean I don't take care of my, my wife and my household and, and still do make all the choices that we have to make yeah. and all those things. I, you know, I don't disconnect from those and say, oh, I'm just in the presence of God. And so I'm not handling anything. No, we still handle our things, but mentally we're dwelling in the awareness that God loves us. He's taking care of us. And that's what it means to dwell in his shelter and rest in his shadow. After that, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. What are you speaking? Are you speaking that you're in danger? Are you speaking that you're scared? It doesn't mean that you don't have feelings, but be aware of where you're dwelling and what you're speaking because the truth is, man, though I feel this, and that's where I would start, man, hey, if I'm feeling worried, if I'm feeling anxious, God, I'm feeling worried right now. I'm feeling concerned about this right here. I might be, you know, concerned about my job. You know, if I'm working at an arena or, you know, just, I know a lot of you guys are working different places and all that, but remember what we talked about, man, the first point, God, it's God's job to provide for us. Yeah. He placed himself in that position. Yeah. We, don't, <laughs> we don't just go place him in that position when we need him. He chose to be in that position. Yeah. He created us and he said that he will provide for us. He said, I am the Lord your provider. And so he's he's already taken that job. It's not available. He's not hiring anybody else for it. He did not hire where you work to be your provider. 
He's your provider. He is our provider. And man, when we can mentally dwell in that awareness, and then we can bring our concerns to him because he's our provider and say, look, God, I am worried about this. I know I have this going on. I know this, this is stressing me out. It's frustrating me. I don't want to be going through this anymore. I don't want to be dealing with this. However, I will say of you, you are my refuge. Mm -hmm. You are my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Yeah. And I think that's where, man, I'd like to just kind of wrap it up today in saying, you know, trusting God, yeah. I think is going to be the foundation. And we're going to be connecting um, with you guys through social media. We're looking at getting the YouTube live up and going. We'll probably be live on a couple different platforms moving forward. I'd like to do Instagram live, Facebook, and YouTube kind of at the same time so everybody can engage yeah. um, on the platforms that they're on so we can share it in different ways because I think this is a great opportunity, man, where we can rise above a little bit and say, all right, we know we don't need to be worried because God is our shelter. God is our refuge, our fortress. God is our provider. God is our healer. So if we don't need to be worried, what should we be doing? I think, man, this is an opportunity for the light of Jesus to really be a light. You know, I was thinking about it earlier that we're in a world where everybody's going to like these different little lights. And we have the light, the glory of God, the real God, the living God um, who can actually provide us shelter. Um, and in a time where a lot of people are going to the universe and to themselves, you know, just uh, self-love and self-care and, you know, all these things and calling themselves healers. I think this is an opportunity for the people of God to say, all right, if we're not going to be worried, what do we need to do? Man, this is a time to share the real provider, the real God of the universe with people as a real light because it's these times that show us who the real light is. Yeah. You can't call on the universe in this time. Yeah. You can't call on the universe to, to heal you, to provide for you. The yeah. universe isn't going to get you another job. Self-care and self-healing isn't going to change your situation. It may make you feel a little bit better for the day, but at the end of the day, man, we have the real living yeah. God. And this is an opportunity for the world to be introduced to the God who loves them. And if we as the church are not worried and anxious and we're coming together, and again, I don't want you to take this as me discounting your emotions or your feelings, but we can come together and I can say, Erskine, I'm feeling worried and anxious right now. James, I'm feeling worried and anxious right now. And we can be those people to each other where you can say, man, I feel you. Let's have compassion with one another, but let's hold each other accountable to the truth and to the joy yeah. that God's called us to saying, at the end of the day, we're gonna be honest about how we feel. We're gonna be honest about what we're going through. We're gonna do the practical things that are necessary. So we're not gonna just spend ridiculously, you know, like, oh, this is my faith. I'm gonna act like I don't need to be wise right now. No, we're gonna be wise. We're gonna be practical. We're gonna be good stewards of what we have, knowing that God is our provider and he delights in that. Um, and we're gonna take this opportunity to allow our peace be, to be a light to the world around us, saying, this is our God in whom we will trust. If you guys agree with that, throw some hearts. Throw some hearts. Come on. <laughs> I don't see All right. the hearts. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Heart. We'll just edit this out. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Hey, wow. Here we go. Okay. 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 Everybody's right. hands up, surrender to the Lord. There hey, you go. Man. There <laughs> we go. Can, can, I, have, can I have one thing? Absolutely, about? man. So this is a quote that's not an original from me, but our, our, one of our pastors, Israel Piotr, says this. Emotions mm. are like kids in the backseat of a car. Mm. You can't let them drive, mm. but you can't stuff them in the trunk. Man. <laughs> <That's Dang. laughs> you, have, you have to go, I hear all the Come noise. <laughs> I hear all the noise. I hear all of the chaos that emotions can bring. That's good. But you cannot let your emotions drive you. Mm. But you also can't stuff them into the, into the trunk and be like, oh, Jesus, no, I'm good. Yeah. They ain't there. Like, you know, like, it's crazy. But, and it's not being fake. Yeah. It's being real and just going, okay, God, there's all the noise. Yeah. yeah. But it's you and me. We're driving this thing. We're going into the future mm. with faith. Mm. Being real mm. and, and going, God, deal with these voices. Deal with this noise. Mm. Deal with all this chaos yeah. that's happening on the inside of me. Because it's not healthy to let them drive or just kind of stuff them down and yeah. not do anything with it. So That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. So let the word drive. Come let on. the Lord drive. That's good. 
those kids are in the back seat, but this is what calms them down, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so don't freak out yeah. if you're having some emotions yelling, but <laughs> have a conversation with them with the word. Yes. yes. So, yeah. man. Don't tell them to shut up. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> oh, God. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Man, well, we love you guys. Yeah. We're so happy you guys joined us. Um, hey, it's a weird time. So we're gonna just be taking it day by day. We're gonna be taking this one step at a time. Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. Yeah. That has enough, uh, today has enough troubles of its own yeah. uh, to go to him about. And so we're gonna take this thing one step at a time. We're gonna be uh, checking in with you guys on Instagram and uh, wherever we can check in with you guys. But primarily, I think you know our focus is gonna try to be on Instagram to communicate with you guys. Sign up for the text blast as well. Do you know the number for the text blast? We'll get it to you guys. Seven. We'll throw it up on the story, uh, yeah, but text so blast. Mike, put it on there. What's Mike, yeah, Mike D can put it on. Mike there. D can put it on the on the live. Hey, 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 Fusion, Fusion, Fusion one. Appreciate you. Fusion Mike. one. Two three eight two seven. There we go. Two three eight two seven. So text Fusion one to two three eight two seven. I believe. And we'll throw it up on the story <laughs> to stay connected. So we'll we'll let we'll let you guys know what's going on. Uh, and we're just gonna be checking in with you. We're gonna be reading the Bible together. Uh, I'm looking forward to having a great time of connecting with each other, man. Yeah. And this being a great time for us to invite people really easily because all you have to do is tag them or share uh, this stuff on your on your story or on your page. It's gonna be a great time, I think, to share the love of Jesus with people. So real quick, I just want to pray with all of you guys before we go. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word and for your truth. We thank you that you are our provider, that you are our comforter, that you are our friend. Lord, that you are everything that we need. Lord, I thank you that you are the great I am. Lord, and that is your name. That is what you've called yourself. Lord, the great I am. Lord, we love you. We thank you that you are everything that we could possibly need. And I just ask that you would help that to wash through our spirits right now, Lord. That you would help that to rest in the minds of your people, in the hearts of your people, no matter how crazy things get, no matter what messages we hear, what announcements we hear, Lord, that we will live as your people resting in your shadow, Lord, dwelling in your shelter, saying of you that you are our refuge, Lord, that you are our fortress and saying you are our God in whom we will trust. Help us to walk that out day by day and come together in this time. Lord, you've been calling us to unite as a church. You've been calling us to unite as your people. Help us all to buy into that wholeheartedly and not just worry, Lord, but to rest in your peace and be of service to the people around us as you've called us to be. Let us operate in your love. Let us abide in your love and share your love. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, Fusion, well, we love you guys. We will see you soon.